Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Polybridge. Today I want to play the campaign and play Drop Me Off. So this is a pretty basic level. You, or it's a pretty basic concept on a level. You have a bridge like this and then you need to drop one of the car off down here. And you can do that in a couple of different ways. And yeah. So, how do I want to do it? I have not decided yet. But this should be enough to get it over. I could do something like this to make it more obvious that this is a split. So that goes down. And then I can have movement down at least. So something like this. And we have a lot of stages on this level. So three stages down and three stages up. So you could build something complicated. But you see, if you only do that, it doesn't really work out that well. So how is looking when I if I have it like that? So I only move it down one. Might not be far enough. How much further will that move it? It shouldn't move it further. Or break it. One of the two. It did the breaking one. So that's a bit longer. I think that's good. So, can we do anything here? So now we can release this part. And like, flip it. Or move it. You'll see what I mean. I don't know why I just had it activated on the last stage, but... But you will see how it will move on the last one now. Okay. That one should be off. That one should be off. Is that better? I hope so. Let's have it expand. And see how that looks. It was really a long time I played this level, so I'm, I don't know how I solved it last time. So that's kind of interesting. It's been so long since I played levels that I've forgotten how to solve them. Or how, how I solve them in an easy way. Because there are easy ways to solve most levels. Okay, now I have that one. So now it will just drop straight down. We could have a arm. And that needs to be connected to the middle. Is it? Yes, it is. Good. Piston? Piston or piston steel. And probably another triangle. Okay, wood, no, not the right material. Go with steel. Going down. Do we need the triangles? I don't know. Let's just try it with normal, with like normal steel or without any special movement first. How far will this move it? We're a bit over budget, but I want to see how far it will move it. 
Okay, this, I think it actually hit the wall and did not move it far enough, not even close. Huh. I can move stuff inside that? I did not know that. Okay, it's too big. Yeah, but that will not work. Let's try something different! Let's see here. We have four pistons. That means we can... What does it mean? It means we, we don't need that steel, it's not important there. What does it mean? If we have this one, we could drop it straight down. With two pistons or something, but that's really not that good. I think it was on a better track from the beginning, by having it move down. Or maybe you can just... I don't know. I don't know. It's hard making good bridges sometimes. I just want to see how close that one goes to the wall. Not even close, that's good. Okay. So, how can I split this one and still keep it in contact? Well, that would move it down. This would make it flip, I think. That will flip it forward, is what I'm, what I'm guessing. Let's see how it works. Going down. Huh. And also disable this one on the second stage. And both come back to the last stage, I think. That one should push out. These two should loosen up. I will need to... Let's change that one a bit. And then I will slow down the speed. So I can see what happens. Here. Turn on stress. What happens? Because it might be that the split joint is not splitting correctly. Can you start the next one? Yeah, that looks like it's not splitting correctly. Oh, it might be. Yeah. That's the case. I forgot the split joint. Easy to forget stuff like that sometimes. So that just... That's... Swivels it so if I have something like that And then I need one in a different height. So something like that, and then 
move that one down. I wonder how that will go. And let's see here. Those need to be twos or ones because we shouldn't connect to that platform. Okay, we have that one. Works good. That one should be disabled, but the split joints should be active. And here both can be active, I think. Okay, it breaks. Let's see it in slow motion instead. Is it 300% speed? So that one breaks. Not sure why, but let's let's see what happens if I just reinforce it. First step is to solve the level. Second step is to get it under budget. So if I go under budget or over budget, it doesn't. It's not a big deal because we can change things with the budget later on. Slow speed. Okay, nothing bad is happening. Yet. Will this expand as I want it to? I hope so. It should be moving straight down more or less. Oh, that was good. That was awesome. Let's try 15%. We need a bit more push. So let's try all the way 50%. Haven't seen that before, so let's try it. Awesome. Now we just need to disable that one. And here we will enable that one. And then disable all of the other pistons. I really liked. Okay, let's do it like this instead. Yeah. I think that's better. That looks so cool. Hello, can you please load? No? Why not? And can I upload? Yep. Thank you. I'm really happy with this solution. It looks really cool. And I will not load, I will save this one. And then you just run through again. Well, I Real happy with this. I should maybe change some materials around to make it cheaper. And how long much time have I left? I've recorded for 15 minutes without any editing, more or less. Or at least I think I have once edit anything away there. Well I didn't prepare for time lapse, but I might find like a room where I have almost no commentary, so then I would remove some or something. So this is a interesting level. I want to try something. Because I can have road here. And you couldn't do this when we design the level. I think. I'm not sure. 
but I think this was something that he couldn't do. But I might be remembering wrong. Definitely a possibility. And I need to unlock them. Unlock with tangents. And I don't know where the roof is here. So let's fill it up. Looks pretty good, actually. And then he has to connect all of it. Or at least all of it to a point. So you can see if the car can fit through this part. And I will just delete that one. Because if the car doesn't fit through there, the hole, like that, it's no need, we don't need to build the rest. Let's just have a starting location. That point. And I still don't like that thing. And I don't know if it ever will be fixed. Is that better than a... Maybe something like that? I think that's a bit more room. And that was wrong material! Wrongness! I would like to maybe drag the car, like, click and drag it along the road and see if it hits the wall or something. Or have a road in a mode that gives you, like, it just flies, so you can test if you place the road in the right place without placing down the supports. I think that would be a really good thing to have in a game like this. And it looks like it fit. I will slow it down to see what happens. Okay, it almost fits. So let's change a little bit here. There it fits. Awesome. Let's just lift that one up and do some normal triangles here. Like the three ones. So something like that. They're very usually the ones I do with steel. I don't know if they're better than like ones, like those, but I think so. I haven't done any testing to show me that they're better, so I can't say for certain. But they could be. And here I just need to connect to the wall points. And this will probably not work. Just saying, probably not will not work. Probably not will not work, but that's just weird. I shouldn't say that. Car going up, 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 and almost. Might be able to do it if I change the angle. So I might do that a bit off camera, because that would be really boring to look at. So, see you soon. Okay, so it looks like it's possible, but I will do something a bit different. I will have a car jump up and like that. Ooh, away. Good. And then have something up here, like a loop. Or something along those lines. I mean, just more or less making a skiss of what it will look like. Just to see how, where the car is. It's like a bad me measurement. Making a lot more materials, placing a lot more materials here than I need to, to see where it lands. Which is pretty inefficient. But let's see.
So something like that there. And we'll probably build it out a bit. Hmm. Okay. I wonder. That is probably not good enough. I'm guessing, but I can't know for certain. What? Oh. So what happened there is that a connection I did here changed the movement of that little one. Or maybe it looks like I just need a little bit. So that might be enough. If it didn't break, but I can connect it like that. This should maybe hold, maybe not. Okay, so this part broke. Can just reinforce it? We have lots and lots of cash. We have like 15k. 10k left now. So I have lots of money we can use to build whatever we want. Okay, this looks like it won't really work like that. So let's rebuild a bit. We want the car to go up. Yeah. Let's see here. Can we... It would be good if it was driving here. That's no good. Let's delete some parts. The flying road thing would be great here as well. Going up. The lost wheel hits it. Or the back wheel is probably the right way to say it. Still the back wheel. The evil back wheel! And now... The weight makes it wobbly. We moved how the weight was distributed, and that's a lot better. You see, we had a lot of movement there, beside. So we can, if we can, we could get the car driving around this thing. And then we can have it jump up again, and that would be cool. No, just bounces. So 50% of the time, it is doing the right thing, and 50% of the time, it's doing the wrong thing. So that's not that good. Okay, don't need those. So let's focus on this part here. Adding another road. Um, but, but, no, not road like that. Could have one here. To remove some energy. Uh, Woohoo! And... I would like to have a bit of extra support. Something like that, maybe. And we might be able to change some of these to wood, because it's not a lot of stress here. It's definitely not a lot of stress. So, here delete a lot of it and we don't have wood on the level Erg. that's something I don't like I like when you have wood
that should also work here. And I think it's cheaper. Didn't look. So that was stupid. But it could be cheaper. And also, if this... This has too much energy. One way to fix that... Is just to build this thing longer. Because we'll lose energy. The higher up it goes. So it could just make it higher up, basically. Now the road breaks. Here. Let's see how it works this time. Now it reinforce the road. Okay, it hits there. So that's not the best. And then we need to have it... Yeah, we would need to have it jump like that. And then go up on some road like this or something. And... I see a problem here. It can work? But it has some problems. Hmm. I just got an idea. We can build road. Road is just cheaper. It's a lot heavier. So it might collapse now. But it gives us some extra cash. So, okay, it didn't break. Good. Hmm. Let's see, how high up will we go? Really high. That's interesting. Okay. Let's delete some of this stuff. Basically, that's what I need. I think. And... That might work. I need probably something to stabilize it. And no, it doesn't work. I don't like it when that happens. Oh, I changed something, but it's not con even connected. Okay, th that time, it worked. Okay. We'll probably have it like that. The last thing I changed here might change the bounce. And that could be bad. Okay, next time. It only needs to work once. Can we maybe move it slightly out and maybe increase the chance? Yeah, did not work. Will it work this time? Yep. Needs to move it more this way. This is the worst part of the game. Just fiddling and moving stuff. I will come back to you when I have some progress here.
So, you just what you just saw is progress. So now we will have more speed and hopefully be able to go up the last little bit. I don't know, maybe. So hopefully this will work. If not, I will have to modify something and that might be annoying. And maybe increase the speed just a smidge. Lower it here so I can see what, what happens at the end. Okay, this road breaks. That's bad news. That one broke as well, I think, but maybe not. Maybe it broke after the first one. And because the first one broke, could be that. And that car won't go up. So what we need, would need to do is change the angle to be less steep. Well, that means more steep here. And that's probably a problem. Maybe. Could maybe do something like that? Maybe? I don't know. Oh! That almost worked. Okay. Can we get some more budget from here without destroying everything? The road break, break, broke, got destroyed. Okay. That's not nice. Maybe if I changed up a bit here, it might be better. So I just needed to not break in anymore. And that was a move in the wrong direction. Okay, those two break. We get up. So, connect those two. One breaks now. What happens if I have that? That one still breaks. Change that angle. Not quite what I wanted, but maybe. Good. Still breaking though. Or still over budget. And I don't want to be over budget or breaking. So maybe this support pillar can be out of road. Maybe. Do I have something like that? I'm a skeptical. Yeah. Okay. Can we change something else road? Maybe that one. I'm thinking that this will not work. But it's worth a try. Which one broke? Okay, it's just the extra weight that breaks here. Okay. Can we do without those now? I hope so, because that would fix all of the budget problems. And it's good to find one thing that fixed all of the problems. Okay, that was not what I wanted. Hey! Hello! Is this better? Yeah, it is. And nothing broke here. It just didn't get up high enough. So you just fix the angle at the end, maybe? So it's a bit higher. Go, 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 go! Did we 
get it? I think so. It doesn't look like a booble flyover event. Awesome. And I will save this one. And this will be all for me today. If you like this video, like it if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.